I wanted to make a quick video just to help you out with a new feature that I've just implemented in CDO, just to make things a little bit easier for you. And also just to show you kind of the process when you're starting a new season. So if you use CDO last year, then you're gonna have a bunch of plants inside the system. I mean, let's log into CDO so you don't just look at a blank screen. And if we go here, all plants, we can see that we have a list of the plants from last year. Now the ones marked in green are the plants that are still active which you can easily mark as inactive by just going into the plant. And then you can see there the little icon which says mark plant inactive, or you can click on the bin icon and that'll delete it. We're gonna mark this one as inactive and we'll see that it changes view a little bit. You can see there we expired it on January 11th. And uh, if we go back to all plants, we'll see that it no longer sits at the top here because I automatically filter the expired plants or the inactive plants to the bottom of the list. So what we can do to actually see that is if you click on this little icon up here, you can go down to expired. So if you tick that, then it gives you a new column and we can select this as one and that'll show all the expired items. So we see there's four expired plants. Now, when you expire a plant, what happens there is it frees up this NFC ID. So that ID number one, I can reuse it again. And that's handy if you have plant tags that have the number one written on it or QR code on it or an NFC tag like I use, then you can just take that plant tag out and stick it in whatever the new plant is that's gonna have that ID. That's the benefit of having this uh, expired like this or inactive rather than deleted. Now you can have as many plants as you want expired. There is no limit to that in the system. Uh, active plants, there is a limit unless you donate some money towards CDO and then you can expand that limit a bit. I think it's 50 plants at the moment. But if we go into this and we have a look at this specific plant, we'll see that all the information is still there for this plant. Any photos I took are still listed. Uh, we can see that photo over there. Any notes I would have made, they're still going to be in there. So it's nice to be able to keep track over a period of time. Now, the change that I've added, if we go back to all plants, we'll see there's a little tick box over here or a slider that allows you to do some bulk processing because it's a bit frustrating for you guys. I know, especially if you have lots and lots of plants like I do, if you are wanting to mark things as inactive, doing it one at a time, it takes forever. So obviously a lot of my plants will be marked as inactive because I'm starting again from seeds. I am overwintering a couple things, but the majority are gonna be uh, started again. So what we can do here, you tick this box, and we can see we've got an extra column created and the buttons at the top here have changed. So we have either expire or delete. It's pretty straightforward how it works. If we go in here, I can select everything that's visible on this page. So it's only the first 50 rows because that's what's selected there. But if I do this and I select all of these, you can see all my plants there. If I say expire, expire selected, it's going to set all of these to expired. So. What we can do here, uh, we'll do a few at the top because I am actually going to be expiring these because I need to start again very soon. Uh, let's just select a bunch here. Uh, what we can do actually, let me just show you the, the ways that I would use this if I were you. If you aren't going to expire everything, then what you can do is this. So you can use the search function. For example, if I want to expire all my Serranos, then I can start typing in here Serrano. And you can see that it automatically will filter down. And now if I tick the top box, it's going to select only these 14 that are Serranos. There's obviously a Serrano or something else there. So we can remove those. Let's do just the Serranos. Even though we have some that are already expired, it doesn't matter. But we can say expire selected. It'll come up with a bit of a prompt. Click OK. And those are now marked as expired. Now I can confirm that because if I just again type Serrano, we can see that all those Serranos are now marked as inactive. Pretty straightforward, same deal with the uh, delete button. Again, don't feel like you need to delete plants. These will stay out the way. You can see obviously I'm gonna have hundreds and hundreds of inactive plants, but they're gonna be at the back end. I can always go in here and filter out those inactive plants if I don't wanna see them. But by default, the behavior that I have in the system is you'll always see your active plants first. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. But I hope you're enjoying Seedsio and I look forward to growing along with you again this year. Until the next video, thanks for watching and stay spicy.